George Washington said it a long time ago, the last official act of any government is to loot the treasury. And I'm afraid we're at that point in time today. The bank that Ivanka Trump was on the board of and the bank also loaned money for Donald Trump to build his Mar-a-Lago golf course and the bank gave the Kushners money. This was basically Donald Trump and the Kushner's personal bank. Well, they are now out of business. For the authorities, they are just basically making this shit up as they go along at this point. The $250,000 insured deposit rule, that's just a made-up number. They don't, they're not even going by it anymore. There is no law and order in America anymore. Signature Bank has gone under. Mr. Shea, who was a founder of the bank, said he was a thought leader. Yes, Scott Shea wrote several books on profound issues facing the Jewish community. Well, I assume that writing books is an easy thing to do when you are sucking the depositors dry. And wherever there's criminal activity going on in New York, well, the Kushners and the Trumps will not be too far away. Yes, the bank lent money to Jared Kushner, his father, and his father-in-law, Donald Trump. Who would have guessed? Now, the major problem with these criminal banks is their target audience is the guy who has millions and millions of dollars, just like the Silicon Valley Bank uh, the, and the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation only insures 250000 but these people have 20, 30, 40, 100 million dollars in the bank. So that's why I'm saying they are making this shit up as they go along. The Fed is going to make these millionaires whole. Even if they have 100 million dollars in these banks, the Fed is going to make them whole and insure them. This is insane. And, of course, the failed bank was dealing in the Ponzi scheme called cryptocurrency. And Ivanka Trump was on the board of directors of this bank as a young girl from 2011 to 2013. I'm afraid you just cannot make this shit up. And at this point, most Americans have figured out that the Kushners and the Trumps are part of a criminal organization and they are just a fresh, clean frontman image out there in the front. Now, here's the scary part. When a bank like this fails, and these people have millions and millions of dollars in there, the U.S. government is going to make them whole. So the government shut down Signature Bank, but it says here, the U.S. Treasury, the Federal Reserve said in a joint statement, all depositors will be made whole on Monday doesn't matter about ignoring, ignoring the 250000 insurance limit. I swear to God, they're making this shit up as we go along. The criminals have made up their mind. It is time to loot the treasury.